Now that DNA has exonerated more than 230 men convicted mainly for sex crimes and murder, criminologists have been able to go back and study what went wrong in those cases. What they've discovered is that 75 percent of those innocent men were convicted in part because an eyewitness fingered the wrong person, and that in all of those cases, the real perpetrator was not in the initial lineup. Gary Wells, a professor of psychology at Iowa State University, has been studying eyewitness memory for 30 years. He says when the real guy isn't there, witnesses tend to pick the person who looks most like him. Wells showed me a study in which more than 300 subjects were shown deliberately shaky videotape of a simulated crime. You look out a window and you see some suspicious behavior. What happens is we tell them later then this person that you saw right there mm -hmm. put a bomb down, that, uh, down the air shaft there. Then subjects are shown a lineup and asked to identify the bomber. That would be so hard. And Very I difficult. I just saw it. And uh, of course, you're particularly cautious right now. You know now, after we've talked, probably not to pick anyone. <laughs> no, no, actually. I, know, I actually know who it is because yeah. if I had yeah. who is come it? upon that, I think it's this guy. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah. You're I'm wrong. wrong? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. And I'm already saying how hard it is. It's none of them. It's none and of it's them. And it, it, it's so, <gasps> and you Isn't know that about bizarre? it. It's so bizarre. You know about this. We've talked about this. So, <gasps> so this is the difficult, this is what that, makes it look so what difficult. what you just did to me. Yeah. I'm mortified. 